I'm going to look at this because it's a uh, unit on the cold room. Um, I've not run it yet, I'm just having a look round. It's not making, uh, reaching temperature. It's off when I've got it. It's been off for a while. Um, so it's had a moisture problem in the past. Um, somebody's put a couple of dryers, suction dryer and a liquid line dryer on this one. It's not very oily. That's uh, even pulling up there. <coughs> yeah, all that oil should be in the uh, should be in the compressor, really, and not on the floor. So I think we might have a leak. I left in there, I don't know, I haven't put the gauges on yet. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but that is bubbling away really quickly. Right, we've got that pump down now. Let's go a bit lower. Um, so we've got a dryer in the liquid line, dryer in the suction line, because it's had a moisture issue in the past. Um, we've got. Oh! Another dryer in the liquid line. Just in case. One wasn't enough. So that's been there all the time they've been having moisture issues. So we're going to get this cut out and linked out. If I've got another sight glass I might put another one in there because that one is pretty dirty. And a new dryer in there. Got a new liquid line dryer put in there. Um, I was just looking at the quality of the flares on these on that dryer. And it's got a great big scratch in it there. About twelve o'clock now. The edge is all uh, crinkly looking. Um, it does make you wonder how the guy passed his F gas assessment. If that's the uh, quality he's working to. Does look to be a bit of a tide mark in there, which is worrying. Hmm. Got that other side uh, um, cut out of there, and I've linked it around with a bit of pipe, a bit of quarter inch. Um, it do not look pretty, but uh, it's a job to get in there with a the torch, so that's my excuse. Anyway, I was thinking of chopping this out just in case air flares are as bad as the other ones, um, and then I noticed that was 5 8 then went a half inch, back to five eighths again, back down to half inch, and then uh, just for good measure, I've squished it. So uh, I think we'll have to do something with that. 
I think I might replace this in half inch. It's only a little tiny little compressor. Not a very big unit. It's half inch off of the valves. I think that pipe right there is half inch as well, so. Mm. I don't know what on which planet that's an acceptable length to strip off the insulation before you feed it in. Cut this out. Not much flow through there, which I think is what's led to uh, uh, that section of the oil. Um, which is going to make joining that up fun. So I've got a flat roof at the moment. All, uh, lead. So uh, last thing we want to do is set it alight. Hmm. I think of a way of getting that oil out of there now. I've got a bit of tube fed into there. I put my thumb over the end of it and then lift it out. It traps all the oil inside it that was in the tube and then we can drain it into that. into that pot and if we get the level low enough we should be able to praise that up without starting any fires which is always good Some sort of issue there somewhere. from the superheat pixie. We've got still up on the side glass. It's evaporating about uh, four and a half degrees C and the room temp was 15 degrees. And the bottom of the compressor is sweating down like that. And down this side and it looks like oh, ice cold. So it looks like they look when they've got liquid coming back. I don't know, because you 
as it exposes it, it's just gas. So, and there's no heat in that at all. So we'll go and check the expansion valve. I expect somebody's opened it up trying to cure that, get the pressure up because of that key pipe. Cable ties. That's the clamp. 